Ladies and gentlemen, the Met Gala has come and gone. 2023's spectacular event where celebrities, musicians, artists, people of all walks of celebrity status get together, drop $50,000 just to get in the door, walk the red carpet, and wear something incredibly stupid. And I'd like to think it's more than just giving to charity and peacocking in front of the cameras for a while. Some of them actually look like literal peacocks. But also to impress a guy on YouTube that they don't know exists and who has the fashion sense of a kid who's in middle school and is dressing himself for the first time. Today, we're gonna look over the worst of the worst at the Met Gala. With that out of the way, let's begin. I should also preface this with the fact that these are all very beautiful looking individuals, highly successful, highly talented, and this is just for fun. They're all better than us at the end of the day. Let's start with the twofer. We have ASAP Rocky and Rihanna. Rihanna appears to have gone into the donut shop, grabbed all the eclairs and just let them loose. Her outfit looks like the Stay Puff Marshmallow Man just came all over her. Bustin makes him feel good. Rocky over here decided why go with one clothing style? When you can go with 45. On first inspection, this isn't a bad looking outfit. Florence Pugh can definitely pull it off, but then we start to make our way above the eyes. She must have hated my neighbor's plants as much as I do. The difference between us? She had the guts to rip them out of the ground, watch them shrivel up, die, and blacken, then put them atop her freshly shaven head. So brave. So bold. Here we see Olivia Wilde wearing a dress with a violin on it as some sort of bizarre shout out to the 70s fashion that took place before her. I'm not Olivia Wilde about it. Listen, I enjoyed playing the violin as much as the next kid in elementary school, but I never once thought to brandish it on my shirt. Alexa Chung, or as she is seen here, Little Bo Peep. She decided she wanted all the frills. Even the Seinfeld puffy shirt would look at that outfit and say, yeah, that's a bit much. To put a bow on my thoughts here, this is not it. Not spelled K-N-O-T. Here we see Kendall Jenner, who went Wednesday Adams up top and Daffy Duck down below. Apparently the designer who was working on this went out for lunch and never returned to finish the second half. Kendall has great legs for the pool, but this is a formal event, not beachside at the insert rich person club that only they know the name of here. Letitia Wright chose wrong. She may look out of place here, but she absolutely killed that second interview she had earlier that day. She might not look Hollywood, but I bet she can point me in the right direction for a damn good continental breakfast. Doja Cat. That's what a person calls themselves. She decided to go full on brand here with some nice cat tire. Even going as far as putting a fake prosthetic nose on. I hope it's fake. Dear God, I hope it's fake. Some may clap at this decision, but she's getting no applause from me. Speaking of cats, Jared Leto went full pussy for the event. He looks to have purchased a large cat costume, or cat stoom if you must. He's having a good time, he's having a laugh. What a clown. What a joker. Well, this is some Willy Wonka shit right here. It looks like she ate a bad black and white cookie and puffed all the way up. Janelle is the worst Pokemon evolution I've ever seen. Here we have the Yellowstone version of Succession. And pray tell, is he wearing a fidget spinner for a bolo tie? Bonus points for matching the Casio watch to the shirt. I bet it's waterproof too. Good for him. Takes confidence. <laughs> I just, I just had a loss for words on this one. Conspiracy theory? He didn't have an outfit prepared in time, so he raided his seven-year-old sister's closet. Everything on him is somehow too short and too long. At the same time, it's incredible. The stripper golden chain lasso around his waist, that was a nice touch with the frilly pom-pom. Beautiful. Sadly, this nightmare concoction probably costs more than I make in a month. Hmm. That's truly the ugliest thing at the Met Gala today. Well, that's just a taste of some of the fashion choices and looks people went with at the gala this year. Kirsten Stewart also made an appearance looking like David Bowie. I, I don't know what happened. I, I truly don't know what happened to some of these people. It's a magical event though. I'm sure they had a good time. I know I did looking at the outfits and I can't wait for next year. Let me know your thoughts though. Did I touch upon some of your favorites? Was I wrong about a couple? Let me know in the comments below. Please like the video if you had some fun and subscribe for more movie content. I post every single week on the channel. This one was a little off the path, but there was movie stars in attendance, so we had to say something. All right, hopefully I catch you next time. Take care.